guys and welcome. Today we're doing the probably most important video of 2016. So we're doing a shootout between the Arctic Eva, which is this one, and the Arctic Spider. It's not the Space Spider, but it's the Spider. So these are two really high-end 3D scanners with two more or less completely different areas. So the Arctic Eva has already been covered in another video. Uh, and the thing about this one is that it's really good for uh, a little bit bigger object, so for example people and so on, it's much quicker in those uh, in those areas. Now the Arctic Spider is more of a, a CAD scanner, it's more for highly detailed objects, uh, which means that it's not really that good for larger objects, so scanning a, a person or a human is, is really difficult. You could go away with scanning like the head, so, um, and, and that's all due to how the scanner works. Um, so let's follow along and let's do this shootout and see which ones comes out on top. So let's start off with a tour of the products. So as, can, as you can see that they are quite similar in design, so they both have a power cord and a USB connector. Uh, but the big difference here is that the Spider has a lot of more cameras and it's also a little bit smaller. Um, so let's start off with the 3D resolution. So the Arctic Eva is uh, designed to do uh, 0.5 millimeters and 0.1 millimeter accuracy. And the Space Spider is 0.1 millimeter and 0 0.05 millimeters in accuracy. So it's much more accurate. Um, also, they both have a texture scanner. So you can get the Eva in, in both texture and non-texture. But the texture ones in both have, them, have a 1.3 megapixel uh, texture camera, which also takes 25, uh, sorry, 24 bits of uh, depth. The Arctic Eva uses a flash bulb, so there's a flash projector inside, um, but the um, Spider uses a blue LED. And uh, the big difference here is the working distance. So as you can see on the cameras, uh, these ones are much more focused uh, on the Spider compared to the Arctic Eva that goes goes further away. So you have a working distance of 17 centimeters to 35 which means that um, around this distance to this distance so you have a quite short working area. Uh, with the EVA you have 40 centimeters up to 100 centimeters, so one meter. Um, you also have a, a smaller field which is scannable. So this one scans from 90, um, sorry, 90 by 70 millimeters. So a small square up to the largest area of 180 um, times 140 millimeters. Uh, while the EVA is covering a much larger area um, from 214 by 148 millimeters up to 536 by 371 millimeters. So that means that when you're scanning with this one it's easier to scan larger objects because you will ca cover a, a much bigger area which in then will give you a better tracking of the, the actual surface because none of these uses a, any sort of trackings. So they only use the target and the texture of the target to track it. So that means that the scanner needs to see, for example, these kind of unique geom geometrical shapes. So it will see all of those while scanning, so you can make sure that it's, uh, it knows where the distance is. Uh, moving on, they both um, uh, have an angular feel of 30 by 21 degrees, which going outwards. Um, the frame rate is a bit quicker with this one because you have less data, less cameras. So that's 16 frames per second that you can scan at, at the maximum. And with this one you can do 7.5 frames per second. And uh, on top of that they both have a really good exposure. It means that you can actually scan, maybe not in direct sunlight, but, but almost. So this one have uh, two thousandths of a second and this one has five thousandths of a second. Um, they both use the Arctic Studio software and they uh, all export OBG, PLY, VRL, STL, uh, ASCII, Disney PTEX, and so on. A lot of formats. Uh, on top of that, they, they both weigh around um, 850 grams, which is almost 2 pounds. Um, and they use 12 volts, 40, 48 watts of power. These actually use 24 watts of power. So just one USB 2 cable, which is USB 3 compatible. And they do um, require a quite beefy computer. So you want to use an Intel i5 or i7 project, uh, sorry, processor uh, using 12 gigs of um, RAM at least with this one and 18 gigabytes at least with this one in RAM, not storage. 
uh, and they both run on Windows 7, 8 and 10 64 bits. So that's the oversight done, let's go in and check out the actual scanning process. Okay, so let's start off with the first scene. So this is my colleague Daniel Marie. Uh, so we're now scanning him with the spider. So you can see here the preview window, which is uh, heavily delayed due to the video recording at the same time. You can see that we're much closer than when we were switching over to the Arctic EVA, which we're doing now. So this is the Arctic EVA. So you can see we are much further away. Uh, on the left side there, you can see more or less that we're a half a meter away and we should actually be a little bit further away for the optimal scanning. So let's compare the two results. The uh, pink one here is from the Arctic EVA. Um, so you can really see here the, um, uh, the difference, especially around the eyes and around the mouth. You can see most visible uh, details in, in, with the spider compared to the uh, Arctic EVA. Now there's not really that much, but I will, uh, it will be much clearer in the, in the upcoming um, comparisons instead. So let's go over to, over to scene two. We have a shoe, some gloves, and a scarf. So we have soft, we have dark materials, we have uh, hard surfaces on the shoe here. So let's start off with the spider. So you can see that the, we have to be pretty close. Uh, and this is, again is the um, video recording, not really accurate due to the video um, capturing. And here we're using the um, uh, Arctic EVA instead. So we're much further, further away, you can't even see the scanner in, in, the, uh, in the clip. Uh, so let's compare the results. This is uh, with the uh, EVA. So the blue one here is with EVA. Uh, so you can see it gets a lot of details, it covers a lot of area in, in just a, a much shorter scan time than, uh, than with, the, um, uh, with the spider. So I'm just going to load in here the old spider scan, so you can see the difference. So hopefully you can really see here on the shoe, on the details around the, the, um, the, the underside of the shoe that the spider really gets those sharp edges in a much different way compared to the EVA. Uh, EVA, of course, takes a little bit of larger area uh, and, and easily covers more, more uh, surface quicker, but the spider really pops. Even the logo is visible uh, with the EVA, which is really amazing. And all the grooves around the, the larger grooves, you can see the small one here and, of course, the ones below uh, on the edge of the, the underside of the shoes, these one here. You can actually see those compared to the EVA scan. You see there are the logos. It, you can still see the details. I mean, you can find them, but you can't really get that crisp detail. Even the, um, the threads on the, the gloves are visible with the spider. That's really amazing. You can see all the, uh, the spider covers a, a small area. So let's go to the next scene. This is a radio control car around 4 centimeters long, uh, maybe 50, 40, 50. So we're starting off with, this, with the spider, again, not accurate with the frame rates. Then we're going over to, to the EVA, which is a little bit quicker when, when it comes to scanning, but it covers a larger area. So you can see you have to be quite still with the spider and move it around and really get everything in. So here we can see a comparison, uh, this is the spider result, um, which is really good, you can see the edges here between the printed part. Yeah, so this is actually a 3D printed model, which means that when you look at on, on the top of the, the, the cockpit there, you can actually see the grooves, the lines that the printers create. So if you're familiar with 3D printing, you know that they create lines. So you can actually see those lines when you're scanning with the spider. And you can also watch there the rear um, uh, gear uh, at the rear wheels, you can actually get that gear as well. Let's check out the EVA scan, and now we really start to see where EVA has its limits. It's better for larger objects. This object is quite small, a lot of details. Uh, this is not the optimal um, scanning situation for EVA at all. It's not meant for these small things. But I really want to show you what the difference is and, and how, how, uh, when, when that limit is reached and how it looks when you're reaching it. So again, the spider scan, a lot of details, you can see the small misalignment between the 3D printed parts. 
Okay, so let's go to scene four. We have the three D bench, which is a three D printing benchmarking model. But we have one big and one small. So we're starting off with the small one. You can see there the size of the um, two benchy boats compared to me in the background. So we're scanning here with the um, EVA, so we can see the big boat which has uh, three colors and the small boat that is red. So with the EVA we really, uh, it's much easier to quick uh, to scan a larger area on the big boats. So that just takes a few seconds to cover basically everything. And um, yeah, so you can see I'm moving much quicker around the scanner and, uh, sorry, around the objects. So when we compare these two, this is the spider scan, so um, it covers much of the small boat, which is around 6 centimeters long. Uh, but it also covers everything on the big boat, so you can, here again you can see the layers and the uh, structures that the 3D printer creates. So here's quite obvious stepping of the different layers, and in the windows and different uh, artifacts from 3D scanning. And you get most of the small boat, I mean not everything, but it's still really really good. It gets um, and most of the details. Of course you can spend much more time doing these scans to cover more areas but that's not the goal of this video to show you a whole whole 3D scanning. I want to show you the amount of details you can uh, squeeze out of um, the, the two different scanners. So here the uh, dark purple or the pinkish um, you can see that it, it doesn't really get the text on the back side on the big boat uh, but it, it covers more area at the same time. And you get all the lines, but you don't really get the artifacts. You can you can just make out uh, from the from the roof there that the, there's two different parts, and the small 3D bench is almost not visible at all. So I hope this really gives you a good visual. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, this shootout. Um, did you like any of them? Do you think that they are too expensive for what they can do? Um, I believe that I've shown you a few things, but I mean, there's so much more you can do with 3D scanning. Um, so which one do you like the most? Uh, write down in the comments which one you would rather get. Uh, and don't think about the price tag, because the spider is a little bit more expensive, but think about the use case. Do you need it for scanning people, or do you want to scan parts, or do you want to scan a little bit bigger stuff? Um, let, let me know in the comments. And if you have any further questions about the products, uh, just drop me a comment or go to the website and check out more. Thanks. See you. Bye.